Hello guys! Welcome back sa ating channel. So, for today's video, ang ating gagawin ay tararam na empties ko. So, itong mga empties ko, I've been collecting it siguro few few months ago pa. So, I wanted to do a video to review yung mga nagamit ko na products and to help you na rin para this, to decide kung bibili nyo ba yung product or hindi. Okay, so ito random ko lang tong uh, i-review. Um, lahat to nagamit ko. And uh, so far, love ko naman siyang lahat. Okay, let's begin with the... Uh, ito yung last video ko na toner, toner yung Aloe BHA Skin Toner by Benton. So far, ito, okay naman siya actually. So I, as I've mentioned sa previous kong video yung consistency niya is hindi siya talaga pang toner na toner na as in very liquidy. So, ang consistency niya is yung parang Claire's toner. So far, okay naman siya sa skin ko. The thing is, um, ano kasi siya eh, parang BHA is for skin peeling. So, medyo hindi ko gusto yung part na yun. Though, hindi siya stinging or nag, or nagbabalat yung, yung mukha ko sa kanya. Um, if you ask me if, if I will still purchase this one, yes, I will. So, okay naman siya. Kaya lang, you don't uh, use it in combination with your AHA products. Kasi parang double exfoliation na yung ginagawa nyo sa skin nyo pag ganun. Which is not so good naman para sa skin. So, yeah. That's for this Benton uh, Aloe BHA Skin Toner. Okay, next product that I'll be showing is yung Pixie. Pixie Skin Treats Glow Tonic 5% Glycolic Exfoliating Toner. So, ayan siya. So, this one you can buy in Sephora. I think this one costs $44. So far, I've been using this one matagal na. Actually, matagal na. Since like 2 years ago. Yeah. So, it helped me whiten yung mga acne spots ko and acne scars. Uh, the thing with this one is if you have a sensitive skin, sa unang gamit nyo or maybe subsequent gamit, um, you will feel medyo stinging yung siya sa skin. That's because glycolic siya and it's an exfoliating toner at the same time. So, kung sensitive, sensitive ang skin nyo, medyo be careful lang kayo sa paggamit nito. Uh, the thing, the, the products that uh, I am using might be effective sa akin, sa inyo. Pwede hindi. Kung baga, hiyangan lang yan ang skin natin. So, yeah. Anyway, for this one, okay din naman siya. Um, very good din to. Yun lang, as I've mentioned, medyo stinging siya sa skin. Especially kung sensitive ang skin niyo. Yeah. Next one that I'll be reviewing is yung Mario Badescu uh, Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. So, for this one, very good din to. Kasi, uh, I've learned this one from my friend. Na minsan na napuna ko siya na sabi ko, bakit ang ganda ng skin niya is very glowing, like ano siya, very dewy. The Korean, the Korean look skin. So, shout out Buckler. So, anyway, sa kanya ko, tal sorry, sa kanya, sorry, sa kanya ko natutunan to. Um, I've been using this one, I think, starting the year 2020. So, last step ko siya sa day, day skin care routine ko. Yeah. So, ang effect niya, um, it hydrates your skin and at the same time, pag natuyo siya, you will notice na medyo dewy yung finish ng skin nyo, which is very Korean, Korean skin type ang itsura. So, that's why I love this one. So, ano din ako sa kanya, um, very generous din ako mag-spray as in super spray ko talaga siya kasi very love ko siya I feel na parang ang ang hydrated ng skin ko after I use this one so this one uh, may tatlo siyang um, how do you say that one? Uh, variants yeah may tatlo siyang variants but the most love ko is this one with the uh, aloe herbs and rose water um, not to say naman na pangit yung remaining ng dalawa but Mas prefer ko lang to. 
So, next product that I'll be reviewing is yung another Benton product, which is the Snail Bee High Content Essence. So, sa previous video ko, na-mention ko na rin to, this is what I use for my uh, morning routine, morning skincare routine. So, wala akong masabi sa kanya. Actually, I'm on my second bottle na, and it's very good. It helped me whiten my acne spots. And, in terms naman ng uh, lapat niya sa skin, wala naman akong problema kasi hindi siya sobrang sticky, hindi rin siya sobrang liquidy. So, I love this one. So, this one is a good purchase. Next one that I'll be reviewing is yung stay put na aking serum. It's the Innisfree Green Tea Seed Serum. So, this one, I've been using it since I've started doing the K... How do you say? Korean skin, step, skin steps? Yeah. So, ito yung una sa mga unang serum na ginamit ko. Na sobrang nahiyang yung skin ko. And I've, I've been coming back. I mean, I've been using it over and over then. So, very good siya. Very gentle. And, uh, wala akong masabi. Basta gustong gusto ko tong seed serum na to. Yeah. Next one that I'll be reviewing is yung I've mentioned from my previous video. This is the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1%. So, this one, isa din to sa mga good finds ko for the year, I think, 2020? No, 2019. Yeah, since 2019. So, maganda to kasi it helps also whiten yung mga acne scars nyo or acne spots nyo. And at the same time, Niacinamide siya. So, it's good for hydrating the skin as well. Uh, tapos, um, from all the niacinamide that I use, I think I tried different brands din na niacinamide. Ito yung the best para sa akin. And it's cheaper compared sa ibang brands na na-try ko. Yeah. So, that's for the ordinary niacinamide. Next one is the Vita C Talk Serum. So, this is the vitamin C from Etude. So, I've mentioned this one on my last video also. So, this one I've been using like since 2020. First quarter ng 2020, I think. So, I tried this because before, ang ginagamit kong vitamin C is yung sa Claire's. Wala naman akong issue sa Claire's, but I've just wanted to try yung mas cheaper. Kasi that time, medyo mahal yung Claire's na vitamin C. So, this one also is good. Uh, wala man akong masabi sa kanya hindi siya stinging sa balat I don't need to mix it with a moisturizer and it does its job na mag help whiten nga ng mga acne spots ko so yeah, I think I finished like 2 two, two or 3 bottles nito last year yeah. so ngayon move on na tayo sa Neogen na vitamin C I'm trying at that one that product okay, another skincare that I'm talking about is yung Cosar X Advanced Nail 92 All-in-One Cream. So, this is the one I'm mentioning na same uh, same line or same, um, how do you say that? Well, same category no Ionix Nail uh, Restore Cream ko na ginagamit sa nighttime routine. So, ito, isa rin to sa mga first K-Beauty products na trinay ko. And I've been loving it so much. Kahit nagpapalit ako ng moisturizer, from time to time, bumabalik pa rin ako sa kanya. Kasi very, 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 very love siya ng skin ko. Nakatulong to mag-whiten ng mga acne spots ko. I've watched this kay Joan Day. I don't know if you know the vlogger Joan Day. She's a Korean-American. And she's been reviewing Cosrx products. So, Isa ako sa mga nabudol niya actually. <laughs> so, kaya trinay ko tong product na to. And it's very good. I don't regret buying this one. So, but some people that I've talked to, hindi hiyang sa ganito. So, like what I mentioned na, hindi nga, hindi lahat ng product na okay sa akin, e pwedeng okay sa inyo. Kung baga, uh, listen to your skin kung ano ba ang hiyang sa kanya. So, kung nagsastart ka mag-breakout, stop the product. Huwag niyong isacrifice yung skin niyo just for the sake of testing out the product. Okay? Next one is the Innisfree. So, Innisfree Jeju Cherry Blossom Jelly Cream. So, this one I've finished this year lang. I've been seeing this Cherry Blossom line since last year, I think, or the or 2019. Pero, this year ko lang siyang na-test out. And, Mm, I cannot say na hindi ko naman siyang nagustuhan, but 
the thing is, sabi ko nga, may issue ko sa mga gel type na moisturizer. Hindi naman sa hindi ko siya gusto, but mas prefer ko talaga yung mga cream type. So, for this one, this is a gel type. Okay naman siya, kaya lang, ang issue ko nga sa kanila is, ang tagal matuyo. And, uh, I'm, all, I'm a person na always on the go eh. So, on the dot lang ako palagi. So, ayoko nang ganun. But, in terms of moisturizing naman, okay naman siya. Wala akong issue doon. Yun lang na, kasi nga dahil gel type siya, it takes time for me to, uh, it takes time for me to get ready because gusto ko nga tuyo yung moisturizer bago ako mag sunscreen. Yeah. Okay. Next product that I'll be reviewing is itong Innisfree um, Jeju Orchid Intense Cream. So, meron siyang dalawang type pa, yung orchid, orchid line nila. Yung isa is yung light purple. Yung isa ito. So, I think this one is yung mas expensive na uh, type nila. So, for this, actually, it doesn't differ para sa akin ha. Dun sa light purple na color. But, according to the other vlogger who've tried this one, mas maganda daw to. But, for me, in terms ng nagawa niya sa skin ko, it's about the same naman. So, Maganda yung line ng orchid nila kasi it really moisturizes your skin and uh, ano siya, parang supple pag gising mo sa umaga. Yun yung effect niya sa akin. So, super layer talaga ako nung mga Jeju orchid na line nila. I love it. And mabango siya. So, you know. So, I like the smell also. And Innisfree is one of my favorite products naman talaga when it comes to K-beauties. Kasi sila yung una kong tinest out when I shifted from the western brand to the Korean uh, uh, products. Yep. So, next product that I'll be reviewing is a local product from the Philippines. It's a Lux Organ Soothing Gel for all types of skin. So, this one, shout out pala kay Jade na bumili para sa akin ito. Thank you, Jade. So, anyway, this one, uh, okay lang siya. Actually, hindi ko siya masyadong ginamit sa mukha ko. It's more on sa body ko, I guess. Kasi, hindi nga ako, sabi ko nga, as I've said before, hindi ako fan ng mga gel type. So, instead na sa mukha ko siya ginamit, ginamit ko siya sa neck ko. Actually, until sa may <laughs> behind ko. Oh, ganun ka artist si ate girl nyo so anyway, okay naman siya actually maganda siya, maraming maraming um, maraming akong kakilala na gumagamit ng aloe vera as their moisturizer, I'm not against that so kanya-kanya lang tayo ng trip or kanya-kanya lang ding, ano ng skin natin but for me, I don't prefer this one so I think I did tried it sa mukha but hindi siya yung pinang maintain ko na pang moisturize ng mukha ko kasi nga ayoko talaga ng gel but for the line ng uh, aloe vera I like it good yan pag yung mga na sunburn kayo or yung medyo na expose kayo sa araw and you feel na umitim kayo or something parang magandang ilagay ito pang pasuot ng skin natin yep that's most for it then the next one is a budoy from Bath and Body Works which is the Dahlia by Bath and Body Works so, shout out kay ZC Eden ko. Uh, nung time na na binili ko to, I was with my friends. Uh, hindi ko ma-remember ano bang ganap nun, but kami pumasok sa Bath and Body. I think there was a sale that time. So, at si ate girl na Pinoy, sabi niya, this is, uh, itong line na tong Dahlia is what Jessie Minjola is using. So, nabudol naman kami. But, I didn't regret that budol kasi ano siya, napaka-bango niya as in super bango niya even the mist is very good so what I can say about this product is dahil ano siya Shea body cream maganda siyang gamitin pag night time for me ha lalo na pag matutulog ka after you showered you put on this one masarap siya kasi parang ang lambot ng skin mo and at the same time napaka-bango niya so yung, yung scent niya ikumakapit sa bed sheet mo and sa mga pillowcase mo. So, if you're gonna ask me if it's worth the price, I think this was a 50% of that time. Yes, it is. So, it's a boodle must. Yeah. The next one that I'll be reviewing is another Bath and Body Works. Um, this is a fragrance mist in a thousand wishes. Uh, wala akong masabi dito actually. Mabango siya. Yes, mabango siya. Hindi ko ma-remember kung binili ko rin siya doon sa budol time na yun with the Dahlia, but okay naman yung amoy niya. 
I like the smell kasi parang very feminine ang smell niya para sa akin. And uh, in terms ng kung tumatagal siya, hindi masyado. You need to spray few times. Parang kumbaga top up. But what can I say about this one? Mm, okay lang. If you ask me if I'll purchase it again, yes, I like it. For everyday perfume lang. Okay, the last two is the two products I've mentioned from my last video. This is the Kinohomitsu Collagen Green Caviar. So, this is what I'm using to help whiten my skin also. So, shout out to Jamie Lee and Evangeline Garcia for introducing this one. The other collagen I've been using is the uh, Kinohomitsu Diamond 5600 mg collagen. Uh, okay din naman yun. It helped whiten my skin. But, mas mabilis nag-whiten talaga yung skin ko when I use this uh, green caviar. The difference lang sa kanya actually is, yun nga, may green caviar siya which is rich in protein. And we know that fish is rich in collagen din. So, ang difference din in terms of packaging is, ito, it comes in a box with 10 pieces. Then the other one, it comes in a box which is 16 pieces. So, how you take this one is, first 6 days, you will take it every day. Then, subsequently, your maintenance will be every other day. So, one box, I think 3 boxes will last you like more than a month. Yeah. So, in in price naman, medyo expensive to ng konti. Konti lang naman. Pero, it's worth it naman. Yeah. So, I guess I'll recommend this also if you're gonna buy a uh, collagen. Next one is the Kinohumitsu Beauty, uh, Beauty UV Bright. So, shout out din kay Jamie and Rufa for introducing this product. So, ito naman is actually uh, grapeseed extract. So, According to this, um, it helps skin brightening, lightening, pigmentation, and protecting skin from damage. So, skin will appear healthier and more luminous in just a matter of weeks. So, I've tried this one kasi that time super talagang tad-tad ng pimple marks yung mukha ko. I was having like a hormonal breakout nun, lalo na dito. So, I've tried using this one baka sakaling pumuti. And it did. So, thank you. Shout out pala sa mga friends ko na nag -ano nito. So, yeah. Ang, ang ano nito is you will drink one bottle after breakfast or before going outdoor. Um, medyo expensive siya in terms na kung gusto nyo siyang i-maintain. Kasi one box will be 10 bottles only. And ang usual routine ko is since nasa maintenance na ako ng green caviar, I alternate drinking this one every other day. So, kung ngayon minum ako nito, tomorrow this one. So, yun yung aking pattern. And... For this month, since my, ito na naman yung breakout ko, you remember from my previous video I show ito, um, I've tried buying na naman ito ng one box lang. Baka sakaling bumalik yung glow ng skin ko and mas madaling mag-whiten yung mga scars ko. Yeah. So, I do recommend if you wanted to try this one, it's good also. So... That's it for my empties videos. I hope you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.